Hello and welcome ServiceNow Enthusiast. Today we are diving into an essential aspect of customer service management, work order and work order tasks. These are the gears that keep your customer service engine running smoothly. In this tutorial, we will explore what work orders are, why they matter and how to create and manage them in ServiceNow. We will also take a look at work order tasks which help you break down complex issues into manageable steps. By the end of this video, you will be well equipped to use work orders and work order tasks to streamline your customer service processes. First thing first, what are work orders? Work orders are structured tasks or assignments that involve technical work, maintenance or repairs. They are a way to organize and manage complex tasks that often require specialized skills or resources. Work orders ensure that work is carried out systematically and efficiently. Now you might be thinking, isn't that what cases are for? Well, while cases handle customer inquiries and issues, work order deal with hands-on technical aspect of resolving those issues. They are the bridge that connects the world of customer service with technical teams responsible for resolution. In our previous video, we defined the flow that customer service management follows from case creation, assignment to resolution. But what if these cases need some more technical expertise from different teams? Who should it be assigned to? How will it be resolved? That's where the work order comes into play. So to sum it up, Work order breaks down complex issues into specific tasks, making it easier to assign them to the right technician or teams. Work order also help allocate the necessary resources like technicians, equipment or materials efficiently. They provide a structured way to track the process of technical work, ensuring nothing falls through the cracks. Work orders can capture technical details and specifications that are crucial for resolving complex issues. Before going into the demo, let's also talk about work order tasks. These are the individual steps or actions that needs to be taken to complete a work order. They are like building blocks of a work order, each task contributing to the overall resolution of the issue. Work order tasks are detailed, actionable and often require specific skills or expertise. They ensure that the technical work outlined in a work order is executed efficiently and effectively. So before starting the demo, let me tell you guys that work order and work order tasks are typically associated with the field service management module in ServiceNow. Once you install this plugin, you will be able to see work order modules appearing in your application navigator. But while working with cases in real time scenarios, the requirement may be related to creation and assignment of work orders. So for that, CSM plugin provides a UI action called create work order. If you search for a create work order UI action, you will be able to see that a record is present under SN underscore customer service case table. So if you are not able to find create work order UI action appearing on your case, please check the condition which is mentioned on this UI action. This UI action basically is calling a script include. This script include verifies some roles. So please check that the user you are impersonating with has the right role to create the work order. I'll submit a case from customer portal. Once it is submitted, we will impersonate the agent profile and open the case. The case will have the create work order UI action if the agent has the right role. Click on create work order. The form will have basic fields to fill before submitting the work order record. Before discussing these basic fields, let's see the full form layout. We will have a section called scheduling where agent can declare the requested due date field which specifies the date and time by which the requester or customer expects the work or task to be completed. We have the last completion date field as well which represents the date and time when the task was last completed or finished. So if we scroll down more, we can see work order tasks present in the related lists. 
We will discuss that in our further videos. But let's scroll up and discuss the most basic fields which we need to fill before creating a work order record. Company. These fields represent the company or organization for which the work order task is being created. It helps in categorizing and organizing work orders by the company. Contact. The contact field typically refers to the individual or department within the company who initiated the work order or is the primary point of contact for the issue or request. If you are a service not developer or admin, you would be knowing about the fields, asset and affected CIs. But still, asset field allows you to associate the work order with a specific asset such as a piece of equipment or a device. Configuration items are elements within your IT infrastructure. These fields specify the configuration item that is impacted or related to the work order. These are the affected CIs. Templates are predefined sets of instructions or configurations that can be applied to work order to standardize the process and task. Qualification groups are fields that can be used to assign the work order to a group of qualified agents or technicians who have the skills and expertise needed to address the issue. With this, we will end this video here. Hopefully, you got the basic understanding of work orders, work order tasks, who can create a work order, and what basic fields are present in the work order form. In the next video, I will demonstrate this to you using an example. Till that, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel.